guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back to my channel. So for tonight's video, we are going to be doing another hair dyeing video. So you guys saw recently I dyed my hair kind of this blue gray color about two weeks ago and it did not stay in my hair. My hair <laughs> is very much blonde again and it faded incredibly fast and like there's like barely any of the color left over. There's like a little bit of gray left over, but nothing that's like super noticeable. So I'm going to dye my hair gray again using a different brand. So this is the Wella Permanent Liquid Hair Color. So usually when I do Wella, I usually do their toners. I usually do the T18 toner, which is like an icy kind of blonde color, but I want to actually try to make my hair like silvery gray. So I went with the Wella hair color instead of a toner. And this is the Cooling Violet 050. So it's supposed to be a really awesome gray color. So I'm hoping that this works out. I watched a couple videos on YouTube of people using this and it worked out really well for them. So hopefully it works. <laughs> I'm hoping it does. So this is what the box looks like when it's not ripped apart. The instructions are actually on the inside of the box. So I had to rip it apart just to see how much of what I needed. So it says to take one of the liquid hair colors and put it into a mixing bowl. So that's what I'm doing. And then it wants you to take another one of these, but with toner and do equal parts. So, <clears throat> that is very strong. Probably open a window, do it in an area that is well ventilated. I'm gonna try to get the liquid toner into this bottle and then, okay, that worked. So I just poured my 20 ball developer into <laughs> the Wella bottle. So I get an equal amount and I'm just pouring it into my mixing bowl. And then when I run out of the toner, I'll do it again with my second box because I know I'm going to need two boxes. I just don't wanna mix it all together. Like right now, oh my God, <laughs> I'm losing my voice because the scent of it is so fucking strong. <laughs> Make sure you do it in a vented area, wear gloves, don't mess around with chemicals. <laughs> so putting my gloves on, I finally have some better gloves. My other gloves are like stained to shit purple. <laughs> so I finally have a new pair that I can use. Thank Lord. So I am just going to try my best to tone my hair as evenly as I can. As you guys have seen from my other videos, um, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to dyeing my hair. So it is what it is. I'm just going to do one side at a time and try to make my hair as even as fucking possible, which usually doesn't go very well for me, but you guys seem to really enjoy my hair dyeing videos and I don't know why. So <laughs> when I mix it into the bowl, it looks like this, if you guys can even see it, it's gonna go like a purple color, I know that, or at least the T18 one does go a purple color. So I'm hoping that this works out and I'm hoping it goes like a really pretty silver color. You get like about half a cup of product for one box, so if you have the same length of hair as me and the same thickness of hair as me, you'll probably need two. I always get two boxes of everything just because I have pretty dry hair that likes to soak up product. So it is going kind of like a almost honey looking color. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like very interesting. It's not purple yet, but I'm assuming it's gonna go purple. I'm just gonna keep mixing it together until it finally all dissolves together. And then I'm going to apply it to my head. I'm also gonna be doing a TikTok, so if you guys see me looking this direction and talking into my phone, that's what I'm doing. So if you guys haven't already followed me on TikTok, I am twistedglam underscore on TikTok. My TikTok has actually been blowing up lately and I'm really excited because it's really fun. I read, well, I mouth scary stories while doing makeup, dyeing my hair, stuff like that, and it's really fun. So if you guys want to go check out my TikTok, that is what I do over there. So let's just begin. <laughs> This is going to be fun.
Okay, so I have officially put all of the hair dye all over my hair. So I have just like the tiniest bit left over. I had to use two boxes. I had to Google it because I didn't think one to one ratio was right and it's not. It actually is one of the dye, so one of the bottles to two of the developer. So you just fill this up twice and then you put it in. Everybody on YouTube was doing one to two and when I Googled it, it was one to two. That says one to one for like the test patch. So I'm not entirely sure what the right answer is here. Everybody else is saying one to two. So I just did one to two because I felt that was correct. It really doesn't say anywhere on the box um, what the actual method is for when you're applying it to your hair, only the test strand, which was one to one. So I don't think one to one is right. I remember using Wella in the past and it's always been one to two. So I just said one to two. So keep that in mind. Um, I hope this turns out. It looks like it's going to turn out. I'm sorry if you guys can hear loud noises outside. My neighbor just decided it'd be fucking perfect time to cut his lawn in the middle of a fucking raining. It's like about to storm. I'm not entirely sure what he's doing. That's kind of annoying. I think I did this right because it looks right. And honestly, I had enough dye to cover my whole head. So I'm really glad that I did one to two because I would not have had enough if I just did the one to one. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this on for about half an hour to 45 minutes. It is 1.30 right now. So I'll come back on here around 2.30 once I have styled and washed my hair. And then I will show you guys the finished results, but I'm assuming this is going to work out just fine. It looks really pretty. It looks very similar to the last dye that I just did, which was like a dark blue. So I'm hoping it doesn't turn out dark blue because that would suck because that is not what I want. <laughs> but I will see you guys in about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, sorry if you hear the wind or hear cars going by. My uh, house is way too hot to have my window closed right now. So we're just gonna have to deal with the cars. But this is what the finished hair color looks like. So it's not quite as gray as I was hoping it was going to be. The videos I saw online had it turned out a little bit better. So it's probably just my hair. My hair just doesn't seem to wanna go gray or silver. I mean, it's a lot silver than the last attempt that we tried the Lunar Tides hair dye because that stuff did not stay in my hair and it went blue for some reason. This is definitely silver. So this is like a hair dye toner. It's the Wella 050 is what I use. Usually I use the T18, I think it is. So I definitely tried a different one this time and it turned out really nice. It's not completely like even. So obviously parts of my hair are lighter than others and some parts are just not taking the dye as nicely as others. Like down here, it's really, really, really silvery, kind of grayish. Whereas up here, it's more like blonde and like kind of yellowy still. So it definitely didn't go on super even, but it still looks really nice. I'm very impressed with the color that I got. The color is really pretty. I just wish it was a little bit more even. So I'll probably have to go and get my hair done at the salon for the actual color that I want because it just doesn't seem to work <laughs> when I do it myself. So I think the next time that I try to go silver or gray, I'll just get it done in the salon and hopefully it works better for me then. But I do think that this turned out really nice considering it was only $9 a box. So it was very inexpensive to do. I'm not mad at this. This definitely was an adventure and I hope it stays in my hair. So I'll let you guys know in a future video if it does stay in my hair or not. So it might, it might not be last hair dye that I tried, it definitely didn't stay in my hair. It lasted like less than a week. So I'm hoping that this stays a little bit longer than the Lunar Tide stuff, but we shall see. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this, and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye. Okay, that's annoying. Every fucking two seconds, there's a car that goes by.